I just want to welcome everybody. I think I know everyone on the call, but I'm Debbie Cox Bolton, CEO of the New Deal. And this is actually the first uh, call we're doing in a four part series that we'll be doing between now and November 3rd on election 2020. So we're beginning, I think kind of fittingly, the day after voter registration day with the election process itself. Um, I just, I want to say that we, we all know that the stakes are so high in this election. In fact, they couldn't be higher. It's one of the most pivotal elections in American history. We decided to do America. When we decided to start this republic from the beginning, one thing was guaranteed. And it wasn't outright guaranteed, but it was guaranteed in the process. And that is, we have to have elections. But why do we have to have elections? We have to have elections because, guess what? We're gonna disagree. And the idea that it's okay to disagree has somehow disappeared from the narrative. It's become something of a distasteful idea out there in the public that, well, if you disagree with me, you're wrong. Well, no, you're American. We're facing record turnout. In fact, just before our conversation today, I was having a conversation uh, with another organization about uh, just turnout levels this year. Uh, and it, we've really never had an election in Michigan where more than 5 million people have voted. That was the high, level, high watermark in 2008. We're on track to have 5.5 million people of our 7.7 .7 million registered voters participating in this election, breaking turnout records. And on top of that, we're anticipating 60 to 70 percent will be voting by mail. Congressional District 5 in 2016, a very Republican district, the vote in the primary came down to 16 ballots in one of our congressional district Republican primaries. Andy Biggs has been in that seat since then, uh, and, and he got voted in, but it was only 16 ballots. How many voters now are not going to go get that second ballot or forget or delay because I was forced to give an instruction that actually ends up suppressing the vote? That's a problem that we have in systemic voter suppression and the devil's in the details. We've got to fight against that at every turn. Democracy wins when people participate. And I can tell you in Massachusetts, the system won because so many people participated. And I think that is the message that we have to keep saying, is democracy wins when people participate. And getting more people engaged, you know, is something that we should be able to do. We get our groceries by mail, by delivery, we get our, you know, retail by delivery. There's no reason why we can't get a ballot by delivery as well. This year, um, UPS launched what we're calling our Drive the Vote campaign. Um, and it is an internal focus, employee um, driven effort to educate all of our employees on how to vote and give them the tools and information that they need to effectively cast our ballots this year. It's going to take some time. It is impossible for any system to process and tabulate 3 million ballots in 12 hours. It's just not possible. We don't have enough machines available to us in Michigan to even get close to that reality. And so it's going to take a few more days just to process and tabulate all those ballots. And that's the system working. And boy, I'll tell you what, what an amazing opportunity we have to show the whole world and specifically to show ourselves that Americans can rise above this. Is what democracy is about. I don't care if you're in the Libertarian Party, the Green Party, the Republican Party, Democratic Party. Democracy wins when people participate. I'm confident that if we all work together, we will see a successful democracy in, re in reality and in perception this fall. Um, and, uh, and that really is the beauty of the, of the election system and our democracy that our founding fathers created, that we the people can ensure that it survives this historic moment in our country, and we the people can ensure that our democracy remains healthy for years to come.